A Chinese robotic startup has just shocked the world as they released footage of a full-size humanoid robot performing spinning kicks, breaking through barriers and executing airborne double strikes. Let's have a look at it first. <笑>太暴力了太暴力了有些刚才踢到那眼其实如果不带护具没有人能撑得住这里绝对会骨折还有下一期吗还有下一期吗老板还有下一期吗有下一期但是我不保证还活着<笑><笑><笑> The machine isn't a movie prop It's called the T 800, and it was built by Engine AI, a company positioning itself at the forefront of China's rapidly expanding humanoid robotic sector. The video dropped recently, and within hours, millions questioned whether what they saw was real or computer-generated imagery. Engine AI responded by publishing raw behind-the-scenes footage to counter claims that the T-800's movements were digitally fabricated. According to the Express Tribune, the company released the additional material specifically to prove the robot's actions were genuine and not enhanced through CGI. The T-800 stands as a full-scale humanoid designed for both industrial applications and demonstration scenarios that mimic combat-style maneuvers. The robot's debut presentation showcased capabilities beyond typical factory automation. It delivered powerful kicks rotated mid-air, and demonstrated balance and coordination that surpassed earlier models in the field. Global Times reported that the T-800 is built for real-world physical tasks, including precision work on factory floors, service-oriented duties, and even potential roles in domestic settings. The machine's design reflects Engine AI's broader ambition to transition humanoid robots from experimental labs into practical everyday use. Engine AI was founded in 2023 and is based in Beijing. According to Wikipedia, the company focuses on developing embodied intelligence and humanoid robotics technology. It operates as part of China's growing push to lead global innovation in robotics with government support and private investment driving rapid development across the sector. The T-800 is the company's most advanced humanoid robot to date. The Chinese humanoid robotics industry has accelerated significantly in recent years. Multiple companies are now competing to deploy machines capable of navigating complex environments, handling objects, and performing tasks traditionally done by human workers. Global Times noted that the line between science fiction depictions of robots and real-world automation is blurring. Observers describe the current phase as a turning point where robots are no longer confined to controlled research environments but are entering factories, retail spaces, and service industries. The T-800's viral video sparked widespread debate online. Some viewers praised the robot's agility and design. Others doubted the authenticity of the footage, pointing to the dramatic cinematography and polished production quality. 
Engine AI's decision to release unedited raw video was an attempt to address these concerns directly. The Express Tribune confirmed that the company shared the footage to counter skepticism and demonstrate the robot's genuine capabilities. Humanoid robots like the T-800 are designed to perform tasks in environments built for human workers. This includes operating machinery, moving objects, and interacting with tools and equipment. The robot's ability to balance, kick, and execute dynamic movements suggests it could handle physically demanding roles in manufacturing or logistics. Global Times highlighted that the T-800 is being developed for industrial work, precision tasks, and even companionship roles, though the company has not specified a timeline for mass production or commercial deployment. China's government has identified robotics and artificial intelligence as strategic priorities. Funding for research and development in these fields has increased and regulatory frameworks are being adjusted to accommodate the deployment of advanced robotics in public and private sectors. Engine AI is one of several startups benefiting from this policy environment, positioning itself to compete with established international robotics firms. The T-800's debut also raises questions about the future of labor and automation. As humanoid robots become more capable, industries may shift toward automated workforces for tasks currently performed by humans. This transition could reshape employment patterns, workplace safety standards, and economic structures in China and other countries investing heavily in robotics. Engine AI has not disclosed the full technical specifications of the T-800, including its power source, operational duration, or production cost. The company has focused on demonstrating the robot's physical capabilities rather than releasing detailed engineering data. The robot's performance in control demonstrations suggests significant progress in balance, joint control, and real-time movement processing. The T-800's launch represents a significant milestone in China's humanoid robotics sector. Whether it leads to widespread commercial adoption remains uncertain, but the machine's capabilities and the public reaction it generated signal a shift in how robots are perceived and deployed. December 3rd and 4th, 2025 witnessed an unprecedented moment in robotics history. Tesla and Figure released videos of their humanoid robots running within 20 hours of each other. Tesla's Optimus 2.5 demonstrated running capabilities on December 3rd. Figure founder Brett Adcock responded less than 20 hours later with footage of the Figure.03 humanoid robot running. The back-to-back -back releases ignited immediate comparisons across the robotics industry. Tesla reposted a running video of Optimus 2.5 on social platform X on December 3rd. The company added the caption, stating, it just set a new personal record in the lab. Platform user Joachim Viskinde tagged Figure's official account in the comments section with a challenge. Adcock responded on December 4th with video footage of Figure's F.03 robot running, Adcock stated that the F.03 robot controller is powered by an onboard neural network developed by the Helix team. The demonstration marked Figure's first public showing of running capability. The response came after sustained public pressure from social media users calling for Figure to match Tesla's achievement. The timing created a direct comparison between the two leading humanoid robot manufacturers. A brokerage firm analyzing Optimus's running posture stated this represents the robot's first true run. Based on video analysis, Optimus's speed is estimated to be around 2.5 to 3 meters per second. This pace is close to human jogging speed. The analysis noted smooth weight transfer, seamless foot landing and push-off, and natural arm swings. Visible elastic flexion and extension of the knee and ankle joints during acceleration were also observed. The running demonstrations represent a significant technical milestone for humanoid robotics. Running requires managing momentum, dynamic balance, predictive foot placement, and rapid adjustments in real time. Both companies achieved this capability nearly simultaneously. The parallel development indicates the entire field is accelerating faster than industry projections anticipated. Tesla has been developing its Optimus humanoid robot since the announcement at the company's Artificial Intelligence Day event on August 19, 2021. A prototype was shown in 2022. 
The Optimus Generation 2 was unveiled in December 2023 with improvements in speed, weight, dexterity, and balance. Factory testing began in 2024 with Optimus filmed folding laundry and performing basic autonomous tasks. Figure AI emerged from stealth in early 2023. The company announced its first robot in March 2023 and unveiled the second revision, Figure 02, in August 2024. Figure 03 was announced in October 2025. The company raised $675 million in Series B funding in February 2024, valuing the startup at $2.6 billion. Investors include Microsoft, OpenAI Startup Fund, NVIDIA, Jeff Bezos, and Amazon Industrial Innovation Fund. Figure 02 robots completed an 11-month deployment at BMW Group plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina. The robots ran 10-hour shifts Monday through Friday with 1,250 hours of runtime. They loaded more than 90,000 parts and contributed to the production of over 30,000 BMW X3 vehicles. The deployment provided critical data that informed the build procedures and mechanical design of Figure 03. Tesla expects to begin mass production of Optimus in the near future. CEO Elon Musk previously estimated a price between $20,000 and $30,000 once production reaches scale. The company revealed it has a dedicated build line in Fremont and plans to add a Giga Texas facility capable of producing up to 10 million units annually. Tesla has a target to build 1 million Optimus robots by the end of 2026. The competing demonstrations occurred amid heightened U.S. government interest in robotics. U.S. Commerce Secretary Howard Lutnick has been meeting with CEOs in the robotics industry. According to two informed sources, the government is considering issuing an executive order on robotics in 2026. The U.S. Department of Transportation is preparing to announce a robotics task force, which may be established by the end of 2025. The robot industry chain in Hong Kong stock markets reacted positively to the news on December 4th. Ubtech Robotics gained 3.66%, Dobot gained 0.87%, and Horizon Robotics gained 6.97%. Xiaomi Group, SMIC, Hua Hong Semiconductor, and Xpeng Motors also saw gains. U.S. Commerce Secretary Howard Lutnick has been meeting with robotics CEOs. The government is considering issuing an executive order on robotics in 2026. Companies hope to obtain tax incentives or federal funding to accelerate widespread robot deployment. Founder Securities stated that companies consider robots as the physical manifestation of AI. Li Chao, Deputy Director of the Policy Research Office of the National Development and Reform Commission, stated the embodied intelligence industry is growing at over 50% annually. Market research firms forecast the market scale will reach 100 billion yuan by 2030. China has over 150 humanoid robot companies, with more than half being startups. Running capability distinguishes humanoid robots from earlier generations limited to walking and scripted tasks. The ability to run at human jogging speeds opens applications in logistics, emergency response, and dynamic factory environments. Both Tesla and Figure demonstrated their systems can maintain balance and coordination at higher speeds. Tesla's approach leverages the full self-driving technology stack adapted for bipedal locomotion. Figure's Helix neural network enables the robot to process visual data and natural language input. Both companies are preparing for large-scale production beginning in 2026. Tesla is constructing a massive Optimus manufacturing facility at Gigafactory, Texas, Figure is expanding into a new Bay Area location with 10 times the square footage of its Sunnyvale headquarters. Figure became a revenue-generating company in December 2024 when it delivered Figure 02 systems to a commercial client. Tesla has deployed Optimus units across its factories for real-world tasks. The December 2025 demonstrations represent an inflection point where multiple companies simultaneously achieved a capability previously limited to advanced research laboratories.